Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Advantage Report. Today we're diving into the world of cutting-edge AI models with a focus on NVIDIA's newly released NVLM 1.0, a multimodal large language model that could change the game when it comes to vision and language tasks. This model has been making waves by achieving state-of-the-art results, rivaling some of the biggest names out there like GPT-40 and Llama 3V. So let's break down why this model is so significant and what it can do. NVLM 1.0 is a family of frontier class multimodal LLMs designed to be the best at understanding and interacting with both text and images. What's amazing about NVLM 1.0 is that after undergoing multimodal training, it not only matches but often surpasses the performance of its LLM backbone on text only tasks. That's right, it actually gets better at pure text work because of the multimodal learning process. And here's some even better news NVIDIA is open sourcing the model weights and training code, giving the AI community an incredible resource to build on. In their comparisons, NVLM 1.0 stands up against both proprietary and open access multimodal LLMs, and it holds its own across all major benchmarks. For example, the 72 billion parameter version of NVLM 1.0 achieved the highest scores to date on OCR Bench and VQAV2, key benchmarks for visual question answering and text recognition. It even outperforms GPT-40 on many other benchmarks like Math Vista, Chart QA, and Doc VQA. The only place where it falls short is on MMMU, but it's definitely making up for it elsewhere. What's particularly interesting is that unlike some competitors, like the Intern VL2 model, NVLM doesn't experience a drop in text-only task performance when it's trained multimodally. Instead, its accuracy on text-related math and coding tasks actually increased by an average of 4.3 points. NVIDIA has managed to create a model that is not just good at dealing with text or images, but excels at both, which is a huge leap forward in AI capabilities. It's pretty fascinating that the NVLM 1.0 is outpacing other models, even in purely text-based challenges. This means you could give it a math problem, or ask it to write code, and it'll give you better answers than it would have before the multimodal training. That's a big deal. Imagine a model that's not just learning about images or language in isolation, but can use both to enhance its skills in each area. It's as if the visual training makes it think more logically and clearly when solving text-based problems. What really stands out with NVLM 1.0 is its instruction-following capabilities. This model has an impressive ability to follow detailed instructions, adapt to the context, and produce high-quality responses whether it's generating long pieces of text or describing an image in intricate detail. NVLM 1.1 OOD, the 72 billion parameter model, is a great example of this. It can use OCR, localization, reasoning, and even world knowledge to deliver highly accurate results. NVIDIA demonstrated the model's ability in various multimodal tasks with some pretty entertaining samples. Imagine looking at a meme that shows the difference between you know, the abstract and the paper using a fierce lynx and a domestic cat. NVLM can understand why it's funny, because it knows how to recognize the text in the images, understand what a lynx and a cat are, and piece it all together to appreciate the humor. It's the same when it comes to more practical tasks, like understanding tables, handwritten notes, or even mathematical diagrams. NVLM can combine all its skills, OCR, reasoning, localization, to answer questions that involve these different elements, which is super useful for real-world applications. One example they showed was a math problem that included a handwritten table and some pseudocode. NVLM went ahead and analyzed both the table and the code, then solved the math question step by step, and it presented the entire solution in latex for better readability. This level of nuanced understanding and explanation is exactly what sets NVLM apart from many other models, even those with similar parameter counts. Now, let's take a closer look at the technical side of NVLM 1.0's architecture. NVIDIA didn't just slap a bunch of features together, they did a detailed comparison between different types of multimodal architectures, such as decoder-only models like Lava and cross-attention models like Flamingo. By analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of these approaches, they developed a unique architecture that optimizes both training efficiency and multimodal reasoning capabilities. This means the NVLM model isn't just learning faster, it's also better equipped to understand complex multimodal scenarios. 
Another cool feature that NVIDIA introduced is a 1D tile tagging design for high resolution images. Essentially, it allows NVLM to focus more effectively on different parts of an image, which helps it perform better at understanding visual details and reasoning about them. When you're training a model to answer questions about what's in an image, this type of innovation can be a real game changer, boosting performance on tasks that require visual understanding alongside text analysis. Speaking of training, NVIDIA didn't just go for sheer scale. They prioritized quality and diversity in their datasets. They provided extensive information about the pre-training and supervised fine-tuning datasets, emphasizing that what matters more is the quality of the data and how diverse the tasks are. They're making a point here. Bigger isn't always better. It's about how well the model is trained across different kinds of data, and MVLM is proof that a well-crafted, varied dataset can outshine simply increasing the scale. But what's really remarkable is how NVLM on Plus One maintains and even enhances text-only performance while also becoming an incredibly powerful vision language model. NVIDIA achieved this by incorporating a high-quality text-only dataset alongside multimodal math and reasoning data during the training phase. This way, the model got the best of both worlds. It didn't just learn to interpret images or solve math problems, it got really good at both, without any trade-offs. MVLM 1.0 is set to open new doors in how we use AI to interact with information. Imagine having an AI that can do everything from solving coding problems to understanding visual memes or even providing insightful analysis on complex data visualizations. And because NVIDIA is making this open source, there's going to be a lot of potential for developers and researchers to push these boundaries even further. Now let's expand a bit on how NVLM 1.0 could impact real-world applications and industries. One clear example is the education sector. Imagine students being able to use NVLM 1.0 as a virtual tutor that can not only solve problems but also explain the concepts visually and textually in an engaging way whether it's helping with advanced calculus or explaining historical events with accompanying images. NVLM 1.0 has the potential to make learning more interactive and accessible. Its ability to seamlessly switch between understanding visual content and generating informative explanations could make it a valuable tool for personalized education. In the medical field, NVLM 1.0's capabilities could be used to assist doctors and healthcare professionals in interpreting medical images, such as x-rays or MRI scans, while also providing detailed explanations or generating related documentation. This could help streamline the diagnostic process and reduce the workload on healthcare workers, ultimately leading to better patient care. Imagine a system that can look at an x-ray, recognize anomalies, and then describe them in detail all while suggesting possible next steps for diagnosis or treatment. The combination of visual understanding and language generation can bridge the gap between raw data and actionable insights. The model's OCR and localization capabilities also make it a strong candidate for use in logistics and warehousing. For instance, NVLM 1.0 could be employed to read barcodes, analyze inventory, and generate detailed reports on stock levels, discrepancies, or potential issues all by analyzing images from warehouse cameras. This kind of automation could lead to significant cost savings and efficiency improvements for industries reliant on supply chain management. In creative industries, NVLM 1.0 could be a game changer for content creators, artists, and designers. Imagine using NVLM to generate detailed descriptions of a scene for a story, or even to provide inspiration for visual elements by analyzing different styles and trends. NVLM could help generate ideas for artwork based on a textual description, bridging the gap between language and visual art in a way that hasn't been done before. It could also assist video editors by generating subtitles, summarizing visual content, or even creating scripts based on visual storyboards. The potential applications in filmmaking, game design, and other creative fields are immense. Another exciting possibility is the use of NVLM 1.0 in customer service and virtual assistants. The model's ability to understand and describe images could make it ideal for helping customers troubleshoot issues with products. For instance, if a customer sends a picture of a malfunctioning device, NVLM could analyze the image, identify the problem, and provide step-by-step -step instructions to resolve the issue. This kind of functionality 
could significantly enhance the quality of customer support by making it more interactive and efficient. In the context of accessibility, MVLM 1.0 could be a major step forward in helping visually impaired individuals understand their surroundings. By using its multimodal capabilities, MVLM could analyze images captured by a smartphone camera and provide descriptive audio feedback, allowing users to better understand the visual world around them. This could include everything from describing objects and people to reading signs and documents aloud, making daily tasks easier for those with visual impairments. NVIDIA's focus on making NVLM 1.0 open source is another aspect worth discussing in detail. Open sourcing the model weights and training code means that researchers, developers and hobbyists will have the opportunity to experiment with and improve upon NVLM 1.0. This kind of collaboration can accelerate innovation and lead to new, unexpected applications that NVIDIA might not have even considered. The open source community has historically been a driving force behind many of the most significant advancements in technology, and giving them access to a model as capable as NVLM 1.0 could lead to breakthroughs in a variety of fields. The versatility of NVLM 1.0 is further highlighted by its ability to integrate with existing AI tools and frameworks. By open sourcing the model, NVIDIA ensures that NVLM can be fine-tuned and adapted for specific use cases, allowing businesses to tailor the model to their particular needs. This kind of adaptability is crucial in a rapidly evolving technological landscape, where flexibility often determines the success of an AI solution. So there you have it, a model that not only competes with the likes of GPT-40 and InternVL2, but even surpasses them in many key areas. NVIDIA's NVLM 1.0 is here, and it's definitely a big step forward for both text and visual understanding in AI. If you're interested in building with this model, or just want to see what it can do, definitely keep an eye out for the open-sourced weights and code. Thanks for tuning in to AI Advantage Report. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. I'll see you in the next one, where we'll be diving into more of the latest and greatest in the world of AI.